Hey, teacher, good evening. Teacher, I don't know if you will hear me, but I couldn't hear you. Can you hear me now, Nandos? Yeah, now I could hear you. Okay, all right, we got that fixed. Oh, good to see that. How was your day? It was good. It was good, thanks God. Great, great to hear that. So what do you do? What do you, what are you working on, Lion? Well, I do social network. So I am a, what's the name? Community manager of the network of the company where I work. It calls um, uh, Tecni Servicios H2000. They do all ACs and refrigeration things about the companies like Walmart, Selectos, and that old stuff. Okay. Okay. So you are, so I'm a little confused. So your job is, what do you do for them? I do this, uh, the social, well, I, uh, I'm doing like just stay in the computer, uh, what look in the networks like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I, I manage the, the networks. Okay, okay. So, so when there's a customer that writes to the social media, you are the one who answers. Yes. Okay. All right. I got it. Okay. And, but I imagine there's a lot of you and not just, not just you managing these different accounts. Well, in this company, I am just, it's just me because it's in a big flu, big uh, affluent of people asking things, you know, and um, well, that. And I have a, a bot too that helped me, for example, to ask the name, the number, what's the country, because the company is in Nicaragua, Honduras, and Costa Rica and Salvador. Okay. It's in a lot of countries. And just in four countries. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, it sounds a little bit interesting. It sounds like, you know, you never know. It's really you work depending on how many, <laughs> how many people are, are, have questions, right? And I imagine you already have things that you have to post according to, you know, maybe promotions or the season or whatever it is that they're trying to sell for that time of the year also. Yes, you are right. I have ads to, to schedule or do some campaigns or post in Instagram or Facebook, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the good thing is that it's, it's a good job. It's very common now. Um, many yes, companies sir. have, many companies have social media managers. So it's true. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Oscar, welcome back. How was the, your surgery? How are you feeling? Uh, thanks a lot. Um, it was nice. I'm feeling bad since yesterday. Oh. I'm having fever. Um, that was why yesterday I could not uh, si could not sign in in the class. But I'm trying to be positive. I go to this morning to the laboratory to have some uh, blood um, test and how do you say PP test? <laughs> mm -hmm. Urine test. Uh, urine test. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm fine of that. So it, it, the, the doctor says that perhaps my fever is because of 
all the tissues are getting back together and my my body is trying to um, support mm -hmm. or recover yeah to recover and and it's supporting all the all the process so i i'm trying to agree with them and we will see okay okay well but i'm here okay well you know oscar if you feel bad or if you feel you need to leave um in the class or whatever go ahead don't don't worry about it yeah okay. yeah yeah don't worry about it because i know i mean especially when you are recovering from a surgery is it's not an easy thing even if you're at home to still try to continue to do things yeah i'll be but i've been resting like all the day and it's, <laughs> it's you know it's, it's uncomfortable because it sounds good but my back is um molida <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I mean, just laying down in bed is 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 a problem. Yeah, you move to a side, another side, and you move, and that's right. So, anyway, okay. All How right. was the class yesterday? Ah, uh, great. Sandra was explaining a lot of things about her university, and we were trying to figure out if it's true or not true. How to uh, the cost and the things. Be, um, Sandra studying um, a course right now at. Um, she has eight courses that she's studying. Wow. I know. That's what I said. Holy shit. <laughs> that's too many. But Sandra says, nah, I have time. And I'm smart. Octopus. So Yeah, she says, I'm, I'm like an octopus. I'm intelligent. It's no problem. Congrats, Sandra. <laughs> Are you there? Maybe she got scared. <laughs> Mm -hmm. In the moment she wants to answer, that's when she suffers technical problems. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, Sandra. Are you there? No, we can't hear I anything. Think that Sandra is not here. Yeah, no, no, she's here, but but. Uh huh. I she's don't know. Here? I think yeah, I I see her picture there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Hey, Leonidas, why do you have uh, two logins? Because I was trying to to put the camera on my computer, but I couldn't, so I decided to put my cell phone. That's, That's fine. Why. That's fine. That's fine. No problem. Okay. Well, we're going to catch up. We're going to start off. Um, today, we're looking at words, at descriptions, um, especially on words that are very commonly used to describe things and which ones are positive, which ones are negative which ones are appropriate for some situations. If you're not sure what I am talking about is I am talking about 1.4 in the platform, 1.4. Yesterday we finished 1.3. Um, we're looking at all of these different words, okay? Oscar, can you read those words? 1.4? Yes. What is appropriate? Uh, okay, let me see. But it's a video on 1.4. No, no, but on my screen, okay, the one that I'm sharing. Oh, with you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let no me problem. see. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what's appropriate? A. Are these words and phrases positive, negative, or neutral? Write the correct symbol next to each word. One, a complement. Two, an insult. Three, appropriate. Four, bad form. Five, inappropriate. Six, normal. Seven, offensive. Eight, polite. Nine, rude. Ten, exchange. Eleven, typical. Twelve, unusual. Okay. Thank you very much, Oscar. Thank you very much. Um, we just have a couple words. We want to correct the pronunciation. That's number one. Uh, compliment. Compliment. Um, number three was appropriate. Appropriate. And number five is inappropriate. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you very, very much. Now, for, in, for everyone, do you know what those words mean? Are there any words that you don't know? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I, I don't. I just think that bad form. I don't know what is that one. Ah, yes, I know I the word. Bad, okay. bad, but form like it's. I don't know what it means. The two words together. Okay, bad form means that it's not a, a good way to do something or a, a not a good way to get something done. Okay. No. Okay. Perfect. So, for example, um. Maybe to, like, if, if, if you have, um, I don't know, if you, your boss tells you that you did something incorrectly, if there are, there are nice ways to do it, and then there's bad ways to do it. And some of the ways are bad form, like telling you that you had a mistake in front of the in, entire office. This is a bad form. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not that he's not supposed to tell you that you made a mistake the the way that he did it was in bad form okay perfect thank you teacher okay any other words anybody else okay perfect so we're looking at all of these words and now now that we are now that you have an idea you heard about them which words do you think would be positive what things, which words would you use in a positive context? Mm -hmm. Well, it will be a, comp a compliment, uh, a normal, polite, maybe typical, and appropriate, too. Okay. Yeah. Normally, you would have, in a, in a good way, you would use a compliment or that's appropriate or, you know, um, that's polite, okay? And mm, maybe the words number six and 11, mm, not so much, maybe Wait. maybe so those would be more neutral. Mm -hmm. Oscar, you were gonna say something? Okay, now which words there um, would be negative? Which words there do you find to be negative words? Uh, for example, an insult, mm -hmm. offensive, I think rude, and, well, strange, I don't know, but maybe neutral. Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe, right, depending on, on how the person uses strange. So, you know, that's strange, that's like it's not typical or not normal, or you are a strange person. That could be a negative way, right? So that would probably be more towards the neutral. Great, so all of these words are the ones that they're showing us and the idea is how we use it, okay? So hang on, let me put right here, okay? So let's watch the rest of the, the video now that we know those words. Let me know if you can hear the volume. Okay, perfect. Can you hear that or no? It's not the same like in the last classes. Okay. Last, last, Let me last class it was clearly. It's very low. Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds low for me too. I'm not sure if it's the video itself, I think is, is maybe a little bit low. It could be. Let's try. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we can get a, a, a better a volume. So I'll take a picture and I'll put it into the WhatsApp as well. And the idea is we're going to discuss these situations using the vocabulary that we have, that we just looked at. So the idea is to describe things that are what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you feel are right or not right. So as an example, you and your partners are gonna discuss the first sentence. You kiss people, you meet on the cheek, okay? So do you think this is a, an appropriate action? Do you think it's incorrect, it's strange? What, what do you think about this type of uh, activity that people do? Don't be scared to speak, it's okay. I 
see everybody's scared today. What happened? I can't hear you, or maybe my connection is, is a, a little bit of a mistake here. Let me try. Let me see. No, we could hear you, teacher. Okay, all right. Hearing. All right, thank you, Leon. Leonidas. Okay, so we'll see. So we have a couple of things. So the idea is just to give different situations or give different things, and it's expressing our opinions, but it's expressing our opinions for those situations. So it's kind of like when somebody says, okay, I'm going to give, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to go to a wedding. A woman says, I'm going to go to a wedding, and she wears a white dress to go to the wedding. What do you think? You think that's correct, not correct? It doesn't matter? It, what, what is your opinion about that? Well, I think that is not uh, appropriate because, uh, well, the friend that is uh, in the well, he the friend that is marrying, she is the one uh, that is um, like in the big like like he that like she has to be in the big moment. So I think that is not correct because all the people is gonna see like why she is going why she is using white dressing like the um, like the wife you know mm -hmm. okay exactly that's it that's all you're going to talk about you think it's all right it's not it you have all of those situations and it's just giving your opinion talking about what you think is right or not right um before we make the groups sandra were you able to fix the the audio for communication? I try, but I don't know if you can hear me now. Yes, we can yes. hear you. Yes, okay. yes, yes, Perfect. now we can hear you. Mm -hmm. I was uh -huh. talking to myself since the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. I thought you were angry because they were kidding you. No, no, no. <laughs> I was talking too, but I don't know what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> But we imagine what Sandra was saying. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to make our groups with your groups. Remember, if you don't have it, um, it's in the WhatsApp. And if you do, it's 1.4 if you're on the computer and you're just discussing those situations. What do you feel about those situations? What do you, what do you think is an appropriate action or how would you correct it? Or what do you think is, should be done for those different situations? Hey, I'm not in the WhatsApp group. Can I be there? Yeah, all you have to do is click on the, the email that they sent you for the same oh. for, for entering, okay. and, and then you'll be automatically in the group. Mm -hmm. In the WhatsApp group? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in a moment. Okay. Teacher? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I'm trying to log in to the to the platform. Mm -hmm. And I can't, uh, uh, in fact, I can't, but it just appeared a, uh, the last course, not the actual. And then you have to you have to click on the link for the the one that they sent you. Yeah, what? I I am I am I already clicked it, mm -hmm. but uh, I am I am uh, maybe I'm going to share my my screen. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Let's see. Yes. It says. Uh -huh. Just, just English Avanzado uh, Modulo 1, no, no the, the actual Modulo 2. Okay. And um, the only thing I can think of is the email they sent you is, let's see, Inglés Cooperativo, Lista de Producción, uh, Activar Usuario de la Plataforma. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I am, right now, I am... Click it mm -hmm. and uh, 
Let me see. It's just the same. Inglés avanzado módulo 1. Okay. Uh, go down. Let me see. They don't have any other ones, right? Inglés intermedio, pre intermedio. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do one thing. Go back to the email that they sent you and then I'll okay. take a I'll take a picture and I'll send it right now. Okay. Uh -huh. can, can you see? Yeah, hang on. Let me take a picture. Okay. One second. Okay. Okay, and show me the, now show me the, the website that you have. Yes, that one. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me put it in an email. Give me just one second. I'm going to send the email. Okay, right. thank you. Hey, Elena, uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, I'm with my student right now, and she received an email for Advance 2. Um, she's in the group from 8 to 9 p.m., but when she clicks on it, she doesn't receive Advanced 2. She only receives Inglés Avanzado Modulo 1. So um, I don't know if somebody can reach out to her and help her. Um, thank you. Okay, so, and let me go back. Exactly. Um, and what's your phone number? That way they can contact you to your, to your phone number. Um, seven, nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, seven, nine, three, eight, 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 Eight eighty six sixty four. Okay, eight six six four. Karen Garcia. Right. Do 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 you have uh, El Elena is the coordinator? Correct. What is the the uh, her phone number? Her phone number in the list. It is the 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 first phone number that is there. The the. The one that is seven four eight eight. Uh, seven seven four eight eight. Six two. Six two. Three nine. Three nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's the first time that I have problems with 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 the uh, with this. Uh, how do you say enlace? Link. With this link. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's the one, hang on, I think. Perfect, I will, I already sent it to her and um, she'll send it to whoever she needs to, I don't know if she's gonna send it to Jason Bautista or, or Jonathan or, I don't know, but she'll send it to, to somebody. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, They'll yeah. try. And also, it's a good idea that that you write to them, that way they know that it's you. That, I mean, I already wrote them and I sent them a voice message and I put in your phone number and and the information, but that yeah, way- Yeah, I, I, uh -huh, I already wrote her. Okay. Not written, right? No, write, wrote, written. Uh -huh, I already have written her. Okay, perfect. Hopefully she'll contact you uh, to maybe uh, tomorrow or if uh, later tonight, and if not, maybe hopefully tomorrow. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, so for today, I guess it's, uh, what about the WhatsApp? Can you access the WhatsApp, Karen? Yes, I can, I, I, could, I could access to the WhatsApp, mm -hmm. to, to the Zoom meeting, but this is the, the only problem. Okay. Okay, very strange, but okay. Hmm. All right, let's try to do it. Okay, thank okay. you, teacher. You're welcome. 
You're welcome. All right, let's get those groups back. And <laughs> I think they, they are probably already. Uh, Thanks for your advice. Yes. Okay, Karen, they're coming. Just give them a second, they'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Anybody have any questions on what is appropriate or not appropriate? Um, I have a question but about a phrase, not okay. about what are you asking for. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say in English this phrase that is in Spanish used to uh, romper el hielo? It's the same in, in English. It's called break the ice. Break the ice? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. It's the same one. Break the ice. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sure thing. Anybody else? No. Okay. No, oh. okay. okay. Great. Now, before we continue, um, I know some of you have already started to work in the platform and do some activities. Okay. Are there any questions, any difficulties that you're having in the platform, any exercises that are not clear? Yes, teacher. I yes. was trying yesterday. <laughs> I couldn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. That's why we work together. Okay? Okay. Okay, so which uh, in Leonidas and Sandra, in which one are you, which exercise were you working in? 1.2. 1.2. And you, Leonidas? Same one. I think the one that I sent to you, I was trying to send through the platform, but the platform always say that was but the sentence wrong yes yeah, wrong. i just wrong. got two out of six right and i don't know what happened with the others <laughs> okay very strange very strange all right hmm. let's let's take a look what you only got two out of six right yes okay here i'll share my screen and then we'll try it together and maybe that'll help us a little bit okay okay, okay thank you okay, okay this is what we're talking about right yes right that one Okay, all right. Uh, so this is talking a little bit about yesterday, about the infinitive and the gerunds. And can, let's start off, remember, gerunds were the verbs with ing. The inf uh, infinitive are two plus the verb, okay? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at number one. It's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school, okay? What do you think would be the correct way? Talking about politics at work or school, it's appropriate. Okay, let's it's try it. Appropriate. It's appropriate, yes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Is or it? Yes. Is. Okay. Is. is. Yeah, it's. Is. What a period. Mm -hmm. See, teacher, I got the same. Mm -hmm. I was trying like three times. Talking about pro yes, because it says a, it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school. I don't see what's wrong. Right without the period, and it's the same. <laughs> I was just gonna try that without, <laughs> because always is, there's sometimes with a period, yes. without a period. Mm -hmm. Yes. I tried dropping some letters too. The ones that are, are double letters and the same. <laughs> yeah. hmm. If you only put uh, talking about politics at work, uh, and not school instead of work or school okay let me try that one um, but be, but it would be incomplete the the sentences yeah yeah it would but yes but sometimes i don't know the 
yeah, the platform is no. tricky. Yes, mm. it is still run. Okay. All right. Let me let me try it out. Let me let me see because definitely you guys are correct. That answer should be the uh, the appropriate answer, and I can't really think of uh -huh, of of why unless unless they want us to correct the sentence because normally it's not is not correct. For example, they say it's appropriate to talk about politics at work or school, and in reality, in most uh, schools and work it's not it's not correct it's not appropriate I don't know but let me double check and, and I'll let you guys know um, give me a second okay perfect on. yeah is this a run I think so um, yeah I already tried it I gotta try a lot of them <laughs> mm -hmm. okay anybody else besides 1.2 was there were there any other ones? Or just 1.2 is the, the one that we're having problems with everyone? Well, in my case, I just try with the one, with that one. I did too. Okay. All right. Hmm. Well, all right, let me try. Uh, politics, yeah, should be at work or school. I think that's the right one. Got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Inappropriate. Okay. Yeah. It's inappropriate. Yeah. With the with the with the period at the end, teacher. Yeah, with the period at the end. But mm, I I think I'm gonna have to report that because is is rewrite the sentence. It's not change the sentence. So the idea is to maintain the same sentence in a different way. But it's okay. Let's try the next one. Let's try number two. All right. Let's see what, all right. What would you guys have for number two? Uh, it's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign countries. And it's okay. That one, that one is correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It right. is impolite. Okay. So it's impolite, it's right? Yes. Okay. To use, what'd you say? Certain, right? Yes. Uh, to use certain gestures? gestures? Yes. Oh. And I think it would In be just some the- some foreign, yes. And just the ending, right? Yes, just the ending. Did you do it with, um, well, I'm gonna do it with a period, let's see. Yes, 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 with a period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the period is the right way. Okay. The third one is it's okay for me to. Okay. Is the same structure. Okay. It is. It's often considered rude to someone's to ask someone's age. Okay, and that you got right. And, and the yes. other one, which which ones were the other ones that you said you you didn't get correct? From four. Two six are wrong. Four to six. Yes. Okay, let's let's go with those then. What did you try on number four? Addressing a professor mm -hmm. by his or her first name is not unusual in the US. And they try dropping not and it is still wrong. Okay. So it's not unusual in the U.S. to address a professor by his or her first name. Hmm. And you say addressing a professor, right? Yes. Me too, I put the same one. 
Okay. We I think it, yes. I was gonna say, I'm looking at it. Okay. I think it has to be, you have to start with the country. Okay, so in the US, and then, and then everything else that you said sounds correct. Okay. Ad addressing the, I'm just gonna copy it. Addressing the, no, I'll make a mistake. By his or her first name. Um, and then we put, isn't unusual is what they have there. Okay. Oops, Little capital letter. Let me write it again. Yes, it's right. Is that, is that it? Yes, yes. Mm, not for me. But in the U.S. In the U.S. addressing the professor. Addressing a professor by his or her first name. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's it, that's it. I put the professor in, in the sentence. It says a professor. A, a professor, yeah. That's it. That yeah. was it. That, uh -huh. <laughs> because in the sentence it says a professor, not the. Okay. All right. So just try and as you can see, it maybe takes a little bit of, mm, of, of working okay. around and, and trying to get it. Um, what I can tell you is that, let's see, hugging friends when you greet them, customer in many countries. It's generic. Okay, so number five and six, maybe it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because in five and six, you need a comma. And maybe that's a problem because, okay, so we're, because we're talking about the locations, right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna, so for example, in many, no, not countries, sorry, cultures, yeah. In many cultures, comma, and then your information, the same here. Here yeah. it's gonna be in, in, some, in some countries, Yes, and then the right. information yeah yes. i think that was the biggest the the the, the biggest issue is is that mm -hmm. that introduction instead of going directly with the the gerund or the infinitive they made it different it's not okay. it's, it's not the same way that we had practiced yesterday yes mm -hmm. but now already in, in some countries mm -hmm. so they uh, so you have an opportunity is, in some countries it is a it is inappropriate uh huh. To, to asking strangers if they are married. No, not to asking because if you use to, it has to, to be the, yes, the base form. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'll leave. We we'll, we'll have those. Try them again tonight. If you have difficulties, let me know tomorrow. But remember, number four, five, and six need a comma. You put in the, the location in the countries or in the cultures or whatever, comma, and then your statement. Be perfect, teacher. Okay. All right. Thanks. That, sure thing. Sure thing. That should help us. All right. Um, okay. Uh, the next exercise, which is in your book, the 1.5, is actually a listening exercise. So we're not going to do that one because it's, you know, it hits you. <laughs> you have to listen and, you know, if you need to listen more than one time, you listen more than one time. That's the, uh, the 1.5. That's this one. You listen and then you answer the questions um, based on that first listening. And then the part two is a different listening. You listen and you answer the three questions based on that. Okay. What we're going to go to is the next topic, 1.6, which is reported speech. Hmm. Does anybody know what is reported speech? It's like retell something that someone else said, but in the past, using several past Hi. tenses. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's reported speech is exactly what you're saying. It's, it's almost like, if you think about it, it's like a secretary's work, okay? Yeah. That's the, that's, that is maybe it's not exactly the best way to say it, but that's the easiest way to think about it. Mm -hmm. the, the reported speech is about these ideas that, okay, someone said something and you're, 
you're taking that information, you're taking that message, and you're telling someone else, okay? Now, the idea with reported speech is that it's very common or to use the word that. It's not an obligation, but it's very common to use it. And always, or almost always, we have one of two words. We use the word said, or we use the word told, okay? So these are the words that are very common in reported speech. So for example, um, uh, Sandra, Sandra said she is studying at the university, okay? Leonidas said that his camera wasn't working, okay? That's, that's all it is. It's just whatever the person had made a statement about and then you're saying it again. That's the main idea about reported speech. So the only difference that in reported speech, grammatically, and here's where the problem um, or where you have to remember, grammatically is you need to go one, in, one time in the past, okay? So as an example, eh, um, here I'll share the screen so that you can see a good example that we have here, okay? So in the first sentence, okay, is what the person actually said, okay? So uh, I do a lot of homework. That's what John says, right? In reported speech, we would say John said, we can use that or not use that. John said that he did a lot of homework, okay? Now, this is because his sentence is in the, print, in the present. You see that? I do a lot of homework. This is the original sentence. I do a lot of homework. So when we report it, we put it one, one time back. So if it's, if it's in present, we go to past. If it's in past, we go to past perfect. If it's past perfect, we maintain it, okay? So here, in the second one, he says, I did a lot of homework last week. Ah, but this sentence is in the past. So because it's in the past, we need to use the past perfect. John said that he had done a lot of homework the last week, or in this, technically it should be the previous week. Okay? Now, in reality, that part of the previous week, when people communicate, they don't do it. They just use last week. Okay? The correct is the previous day, the previous week, depending on whatever time they said. Okay, then you tend to use the previous. But in oral communication, the reality is people use the same thing for the last. Okay, so hang on. Okay. I think the other information. This. Okay, so here's another thing. So just to help you out with the auxiliaries and the information. If in the original sentence you use am, um, is, or are, then when you do the reported speech, you're going to use was and were, right? If in the original sentence the auxiliary was have or has, then in the reported speech it's going to be had, okay? If in the original sentence is can um, or will, okay, then in the reported speech is going to be you know, could or would. This helps you even with the future tense. I will go to the movies. Ah, then he said he would go to the movies. Okay. So here's what, we're, here's what I mentioned about the, the time order. Technically, you should be using these words when you do reported speech. So when we say, oh, I went there um, yesterday, okay? So instead of saying yesterday, uh, I, I went to, I don't know, I went to Burger King yesterday. He said, okay, that he had, or that he had gone to Burger King the day before. You see what, what I mean by changing the time? That's the time, depending on what the person said, that's the time that you're going to change it for. Now, for this one, as I mentioned, in, in here, in the platform, you have to use this, uh, this column, the one where it says there, that, those. But in reality, when people speak, Mm, it's not it's not common to use it okay it's not common that people tell to or people say those things okay mm, hang on I can't see your faces okay so um, why do we use reported speech one more time we use reported speech like a secretary you're saying what you heard you're saying what someone said you're 
you're telling somebody else. You're passing out a message. That's the first one. How do you use a reported speech? Think about it like a little stairs, okay? Like when you walk up the stairs, okay? You're walking up the stairs, right? So if the person uses present, you use past. You have, because you are behind them. If the person uses past, you use past perfect because you are behind them, okay? If the person uses future, you go back. You are behind them, so you use the past tense, yeah. right? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Uh, can you please repeat the, the part when the person, when a person talks in the future, I will talk in what time? Uh, it's in the past time, and you will use the past tense. So in the WhatsApp, I, I sent you the uh, a little help. So if the person says, I will, so for example, this Saturday, I will go shopping, okay? And uh, Elia said, hey, hey, what did he say? Ah, uh -huh. you are going to say, uh, he said he would go shopping. You use the past tense. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Anything else, any other questions? Not teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we have? One more time. We're gonna try it, we're gonna practice it. You can use the video, we can have it. Um, I'm gonna play the video, it's a little long, but I think it was more important that I explain at the beginning so that you have an idea what you're listening to and what you are seeing. Now that you understand what we're looking at, you can you have an idea what to focus on. You're focusing on how is the usage. Remember, you already understand that the usage is like the stairs, you go one back. If the person says in present, you go in past. If the person is in past, you go in past perfect. Okay? But let's watch the video and if you have questions at the end, I'll help you out and I'll explain them. And we will be able to report what someone has said to you or to someone else. Reported speech, statements. It's a big secret. Report statements. He said that it was a big secret. I'm getting a terrible grade. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. They got engaged. He said that they had gotten engaged. We weren't talking about you. They claimed that they hadn't been talking about me. She's been absent since Tuesday. He said that she had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. She said that they had never been there before. I'll meet you at the cafe. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Reported questions. I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. What are you saying? I asked them what they were saying. Commands. Don't say anything. Report commands. He warned his friends not to say anything. General truths. The sun rises in the east. Reported general truths. She said that the sun rises in the east. No change in tense. Let's talk about reported speech. We often use reported speech too. Number one, give someone a telephone message. Number two, tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Number three, to report something that happened earlier. Now, how do we use it? When we use reported speech, we are usually talking about something that happened in the past. Therefore, verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. Follow us in these examples. John said, I do a lot of homework. John said that he did a lot of homework. John said, I did a lot of homework last week. John said that he had done a lot of homework the previous week. This is what we mean when we said the verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. For example, um is becomes was, are becomes were, have has becomes had can becomes could, 
will becomes would. Something else we need you to take into account are these changes. Here becomes there. This, these becomes that, those. Today, tonight becomes that day, that night. Yesterday becomes the day before. Last week, last month becomes the previous week, the previous month, or the week before, the month before. Tomorrow becomes the next day, the following day. Next week, next month becomes the following week, the following month. But we do have some exceptions to the rules. There is no change in tense when reporting general truth. And no tense change in immediately reported speech. Also take note about this. That is optional. Let's go over questions in reported speech. Remember we have WH questions and yes no questions. For example, where do you work? She asked me where I worked. Whereas in yes no questions in reported speech becomes if. Before we go, we have to go over commands in reported speech. With commands, the verb in simple present becomes an infinitive. Don't plus simple present becomes not plus infinitive. Please change the following sentences to reported speech. Type them on our discussion box. She eats pasta. We came late. I am happy. As I mentioned, the video is not too long, about four minutes. There's a lot of information in there. Um, so sometimes you need to watch it two times or sometimes a, three times to make sure that it's clear. There are only a few examples, and that's at the beginning of the video that's already in the WhatsApp group. Now, remember that it's always the same. So if I'm talking in the present continuous, for example, I am eating pizza. When I report it, and Oscar says, hey, what did he say? Ah, he said he was eating pizza because I use the present continuous one back the past continuous okay I use the present simple one back the past simple at the end they mention the exception and that's the exceptions with do or does questions if you saw that it says do you uh, does he okay when you report it you do not use do or does okay so as an example I say um, do you work, Daniel? And Oscar asked, oh, what, what did he say? Uh, he, in this case, we don't say he said, we change it for he asked, because it's a question. He asked if Daniel works, if he works, okay? You don't repeat the same pronoun because I'm not asking you directly. I'm talking about the other person. So don't feel bad if you need to watch the video again and practice it a little bit more. Reported speech usually has this idea, okay? So reported speech takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Um, we're going to, right now we're gonna make our groups and we're gonna practice them. Um, all, you, all it is is if you need to look at the, uh, at the image or the file of practicing. So I am happy, practice little by little. He said, he, what? How would we finish that? Let's try it together. The original sentence, I am happy. How do we report it? It would be teacher yes, say. he was happy. Yeah, that's true. Correct, yes. He said that he was happy, okay. Now notice, I don't have to use that. If you want to, you can use that. It's optional. Is it normal? Yes. Do people use it almost always? Yes. Is it incorrect if you don't use it? No, it's optional, but it is common to use the word that. It's, and in, in, in the US, that is not seen as a, like if you're poniendo queja, verdad? No, 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 <laughs> It's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a different, different idea. Okay, so let's try, I, we don't have enough time for the groups, but let's try a couple of them here, okay? So I'm gonna give, okay. Uh, um, I am playing video games. Okay, I am playing video games. The Elias, teacher said oh, that Oscar, was, go ahead. Oh, no, 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 Oscar, go the for teacher, it. Go. The teacher said that he was playing video games. Correct. Very good. Oscar, say a sentence, and Daniel is going to do it. 
Okay. Um, I have been resting all the day. Okay. Um, repeat, please, Oscar. I have been resting all the day. Uh, so difficult for me, Oscar. Okay. Um, He's a good friend. He said, no, Daniel, work more. Work more, Daniel. <laughs> okay. Um, I am sick. Okay. Oscar says that he was sick. Very good, Daniel. Only one word is not correct. You do not mm -hmm. use the present tense. So we have to use the past tense, said, no says. Oscar said. said. Yes. 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 Oscar said. Thank you. Welcome, Daniel. Okay, Daniel, you say one sentence. Stephanie is going to do the reported speech. Okay. okay. I am try. I am try to speak English. Uh, Daniel said he. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you well. Okay. I am try. I am trying to speak English. Okay, uh, Daniel said he was trying to speak English. Okay. I don't know if I'm correct. For me, yes, Stephanie. Okay, he, Daniel said he was trying to speak English. Mm -hmm. You? Okay. Okay, good. Stephanie, you say the sentence, Elias is going to say, the past tense, or Elias is going to change it to reported speech. Okay, let me think. Um, I am hungry. Uh, she says that she was hungry. Correct, correct. All right, Elias, now Leonidas is going to change yours. Uh, uh, we, uh, we, were, uh, we were jumping. Okay, let's see, it would be uh, Elias said that uh, he had, he, he, he had, it was, it was difficult to meet to that time. Could you do it more easy? <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were jumping. Where? We were jumping. Yeah, I got the. the. So Eli, Eli say said that we have jumped. Okay, let me help you out. Okay, uh, perfect. Okay, good try, good try. But it says, we were jumping. So we need to focus on those three words. The first word is we. You're not going to repeat we. It's going to be Elias So and the group. So uh, Elias said, they, no we, they. Then Elias said, we're jumping. Where is in the past tense. So we have to use the past perfect. The past perfect is had. And with had, the verb to be is been. So he had been jumping. So the correct sentence would be, Elias said they had been jumping. Okay, Very diff. Yeah, no, no, perfect Elias, see? Perfect difficulty. Uh -huh. that's, that's your partner for tomorrow, you see, right? So... <laughs> 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 all right guys we're gonna pause right there don't worry like i said it's difficult tomorrow we continue with the same topic and we try if you have time watch the video again and try to get a little bit more information it's don't worry it's not something that is very easy or is in one class and it's done we need practice again more tomorrow okay all right guys have a great night then see you tomorrow Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow there's class tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because this week we didn't have class on Monday. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night.
Okay, see you. See you.